Hey guys, and welcome back to Turok, when we last left off. Uh, we found the rest of our boys. Apparently a lot more of us actually survived than originally thought. Uh, we've been sent off on our own to try and find some kind of comm station. Whilst the boys are going to stay back and fortify the home base. Yes, do you ever get the feeling that you're expendable? Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go. So, another thing about this game... Uh, apparently, it was quite the commercial success, actually. Uh, it sold a lot of copies and was quite... Um, not necessarily... like The critics' uh, reviews for this game were quite uh, mediocre. Um, or average to, to good, should we say. Uh, but people that bought the game seemed to enjoy it, and it sold very well. Nearly 2 million copies. Hey, friend. Oh, God. That's not what I want wanted to slice you so that's interesting I, I didn't realize that this game actually performed quite well come here you little shit stain I don't want you running around <sighs> chewing my fucking ball bag whilst I'm trying to get some serious stuff done and the second game was uh, quite far into development apparently Looks like there's some stuff over there. Before the company uh, got shut down. Ooh. Fuck. Hello. You ugly little fucker. Get. Fucked. Seriously get fucked. We definitely don't want the pistol. Because we have ascertained... That the pistol is actually a turkey. Um, uh, oh, tech arrows. Very nice. So, tech arrows. I'm guessing if they're anything like the other Turok games. Yep, they're explosive arrows. This pleases me greatly. Oh my dudes. We've just leveled the playing field. Tech arrows. Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, I never. Uh, I think I had thought about playing all the Turok games before. Um, it's crossed my mind, shall we say. Uh, however, I don't really have access to an N64, and I don't like using the awful N64 controller. But now we actually have the remakes on PC, which I do actually own. I bought them both when they actually came out uh, fucking years ago. But I haven't actually played them. Um, so yeah, we, we should. Pro that's another series that we need to get into, the Turok games. Because that's a very, well at least Turok 1 and 2 was massive in my childhood. Turok 3 was... <laughs> something. Oof. Um, Turok Rage Wars was what it was. I mean, it was just basically a multiplayer game. And Turok Evolution, ugh. I mean, personally, I prefer this game to Turok Evolution. Oh, God, yes. Do I prefer this game to Turok Evolution? I actually played Turok Evolution a few years ago. A few years ago? Uh, a few months ago. Just to see how it held up. I don't want to get ambushed. And it is a hot, steaming pile of dog shit. It really is. This is a shame because Turok 1 and 2 were really, really good. Now, I remember Turok 3 as a game that we, me and my mate used to rent. I th I don't know if he owned it. I can't remember. Uh, I know he owned Turok 1 and Turok 2. But yeah, I remember neither of us really enjoyed Turok 3. We certainly didn't play a lot of it from what I can remember. Maybe we sat down and completed it. I can't remember, to be honest. But nothing like the first two games. Is that more Tech Arrows? Is that more tech arrows? 
Can we only hold 10 tech arrows? Oh no! Oh shit! Yeah, we can only hold 10 ta tech arrows, which is not fantastic. I mean, that's 10 of anything dead, I guess. If we hit. Oh, you're gonna bite me in the fucking ass as soon as I move on, aren't you? Come on, you shit stain. Come on, you shit stain. Look at that. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to release that. When you pull the bow back, you actually see the stabilizing fins come out, which is a nice touch. Where has that ball bag gone? Bollocks. I don't want to leave him behind me. Fuck it. I'm sure he's going to come out at some point. Let's press on. Yeah, so you can't actually um, have the bow drawn for that long before little Turok's arms get too weak. And he lets the arrow loose anyway, which is kind of annoying. Because that was never a problem in the other games. I guess that one's fucked off somewhere, which is fine. Whiskey, this is Turok. I've got wreckage, but no survivors. We got some more arrows, which is nice. Ooh. Turok 2 though, honestly, what a fucking game, what a game. It's aged um, somewhat, but, you know, when that game came out, Jesus, that was like the gold standard, oh, hello, that was like the gold standard of console FPS. Ah, you fuck, okay, so the explosion doesn't go round corners. Which is a little bit annoying. Actually, I'm happy for you to come up to me. To be honest. Because if they jump on me. And I get the option for a melee kill. Come on. Yeah, when I get the option for a melee kill, I can do them instantly. I don't know if that killed him in one. We're going to be creeping around this jungle quietly. Uh oh. Oh, you, you little twats. Get the fuck here. No time for your shenanigans. Big boys are playing. Dude, what did I just say? Seriously, no time for you. Oh, hello. Son of a bitch. Oof. Nothing left but bits. Oh, Christ. Did we get him? No. Damn it. You are a fucking menace. Honestly. Your whole species is a fucking wasted skin. I'm not sure if... One arrow shot to the head does kill those guys, actually. 
It kind of seems like it does. Ugh. More movement. I could do this all day. Literally. All day long. I can skin your loopy asses. Fucking come here, you little bastard. Uh, it's the best... Oh, God. Ah, look at that. They're actually chasing and hunting. Those little guys. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I knew I was going to hurt myself there, but took one for the team. Oof. Right. Not many left now, boys. At least I hope not. We're going to exterminate the whole race of these things. And that's okay. By me. Right. Good stuff. I think we're more or less in the clear. More or less. Right. There's only goodies around here. Quite often on these si sidelines there's goods like that, you see. Oh, that shotgun ammo. Okay, not quite sure how that shotgun ammo, but alright. Yep, shotgun's a mixed bag in this game. It's not great. Shotgun in Turok 2 is one of the sexiest shotguns ever made. Double barrel pump action shotgun. Yes, please. Did I mention the fact? Ooh. Oh, hello. Ooh, ooh, those pulse grenades not seem to actually do much. Come at me. Yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing. Choke on your own blood, you bastard. Gasp for daddy. Now, um... Little shit stain. All right. Yeah, so pump action shotgun that can fire explosive shells. Also, the damage that you can do uh, to your enemies is really impressive. Oh, hey, cutie. There you are. Let me release you from this world. You're welcome. You want to go as well? Come on, buddy. Let's go to the great... Uh, Jurassic Park in the sky. And you, come on. The ride's free. It's free. Room for a little one. No, no, no. It's okay. Don't be shy. There you go. Off to the great park in the sky. Alright. Now, I can hear something making a lot of noise in the distance, which is fun. Hmm. Oh. Hey, rookie. Long time no see. How's it going, Grimes? Me and the boys are feeling a little offended. First you leave us without saying goodbye. Now you're slumming it with these rejects. What's going on, Turok? What can I say? Times have changed. That's where you're wrong. Your wolf pack, that's never going to change. No matter how hard you try, you'll always be one of us. Think about it. Uh, okay, so he's going to forgive us and let us come home to daddy, even though we've been murdering all of his boys. We still don't really know what's going on here. I don't think I do either. I can't remember. I ain't got a fucking clue what's going on. I played this game in 2008 when it came out and that was that. I actually think I played it a lot. I think. I can't really remember. 
I remember trying the multiplayer, which was, well, AIDS. Because, you know, that's back when every game had to have a multiplayer mode. And no matter whether it fit the game or not, they had to shoehorn it in. Now, Tarox always had multiplayer, at least... Um, at least from Turok 2 onwards had multiplayer. I can't remember about the first one. But the weapons were always impressive in Turok. You know? Uh, especially in Turok 1 and 2. They were so insane. Um, but we'll get to those. We will get to those. Right. Turok 2's got one of the best flamethrowers. Ah, you little bastards are everywhere. That little park up in the sky is going to be full of you guys. So we just had an invitation to go back to Daddy. Um. Whoa. Whoa. Right, light him up. Almost happy to be fighting raptors again. Almost. Potentially we could have stealth killed that one, but... Fuck it. All this meat everywhere. Ugh. Hello. Ah, hey, friends. Welcome to the party. Metal Storm. Ooh. Dude. Can you not bonk me on the head? My god. Stirred up the whole hornet's nest. Yep, we've got them... Oh man, there's a lot of them. Oh god, let's upgrade. I say upgrade. I'm not sure actually how good this weapon is. Oh god, we're stuck in the corner. Stuck in the corner. Why is everything going red? Why can't we see? I was dodging the enemies. Thank you. Oh, frame rate. Okay. Yeah, this thing doesn't seem too bad, actually, against the raptors. Trouble is, it's everything else. Ooh. Yeah, this thing really ain't too bad against the raptors. I always love the way they, like, just struggled and spasmed in their death throes. You don't get that in games anymore. Oh, hello. Little compies. Come on, you little bastard. Come here. Come to daddy. You're nothing. Never really understood what the uh, pulse rifle was. Whether it actually fires projectiles or... Whether it's some kind of um, battery operated weapon, but... I guess it doesn't really matter. I can hear something over there. Alright, what about this way? Ooh, looks like we've got choices. Oof, do you think Turok came through there? We've got choices. Let's have a little look up here, shall we? At least, I think we've got choices. We never get choices in games like this. Oh! Ooh, oh, that's satisfying. Really? Cool. 
I see cowboy. Got heavy guns. I get back. Not really sure why he wasn't reacting to me. Ow, that hurts. Hey, I can do that too, you old fuckers. Oh, that's cowboy. MG's got what the dinos didn't. Logan's on his way. You just get cowboy to the rendezvous, alright? There's help coming, but we've got to get to them. Right, so we are actually meant to be going that way. Let's check out the other side then. Come on, cowboy. It's a good thing you've got an actual name and you're not called Grunt, otherwise you would have been dead. Kind of destructible environments. That's always nice to see. Very primitive uh, destructible environments, but hey, you know, it's something. Still waiting for those fully destructible environments. Still waiting. Maybe we're going to get those now. Now we've got consoles that are incredibly powerful. Which, I was thinking about this, right? It's, we've never really had consoles that have been as powerful as the Xbox uh, Series X and the PlayStation 5 before. Now, you know, obviously, but what I mean is comparatively in the time frame, even the Xbox um, 360, uh, the CPU, although it wasn't awful, it wasn't much to write home about, but it did have a very uh, impressive GPU for the time. You know, but they were also quite limited with the amount of memory they had. Now, the PlayStation... Ooh. Ooh, here, big boy. Now, the PlayStation uh, 3 had a very powerful CPU, if you could actually use it properly, which was incredibly difficult and expensive and time-consuming. But it had a really poor GPU and awful memory system. But, dude, I'm actually very excited about these new consoles because they are next generational in every sense. They have buckets of CPU power, you know, extremely fast storage, mentally fast memory, very powerful GPUs. Hopefully, we're going to see some cool stuff this generation. I mean, I'm not holding my breath. Because I don't really have a lot of faith in uh, AAA game development anymore. In fact, I don't have any faith in AAA game development anymore. Um, Cyberpunk, for me, was the last nail in the coffin for that. But hey, who knows? Who knows? Keep them coming, boys. Come on, cowboy. That's it. We can take these guys a hundred at a time. <sighs> I mean, even Halo Infinite. I mean, look at Like, I thought the game looked fine. Did it look next generation? No. But it looked like it was going to be a damn good time. But even with how that, that was developed, you know? It's just... Uh... And Last of Us 2 as well, another game that I was really looking forward to for a very long time, and... Ugh. Ooh, we got big canisters of ammo there. I mean, Last of Us 2, like, it, it wasn't bad, but... It was smelling its own farts, put it that way. And my god, it really didn't need to be that long. Hey, friendo. I also think it thought it was telling a better story than it did. Oof. Turret section. Who doesn't like a turret section? Oh, another turret. Oh, God. My turrets. Oh, God. Off the turret. I don't know how to get off the turret. I didn't realize there was two enemy turrets. Oof. <sighs> Try dual wielding different weapons to get through different areas. Oh, 
Alright, we need to kill this thing. This thing looks nasty. I mean, if he wants to go off and kill those guys for us, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I'm getting the but we've got to get to feeling you don't really care about me, you just care about Cowboy. Again, we're expendable. That actually feels like a Rambo game. <laughs> a futuristic Rambo game. We're John Rambo. Not actually a bad way of thinking. Ooh, oh god. One grenade we can handle. Two. Get fucked. Have that. I got my own pineapples of death. That I do admittedly keep forgetting about. And uh, that big dino's dead. Oh, good. Whoa, dude. You just, like, fell into that dino's abdomen. There we go. And, you know, a good test I always find with a video game is, am I actually thinking that I'm playing a video game? Does it feel like I'm playing a video game? Or am I just lost in the moment having fun? And... With this game, I'm just lost in the moment having fun. You know, it's just a good time shooting everything. So, yeah. Could this game have been better? I mean, maybe it is the start of a new series, I guess. And they should have kept some more of uh, Terox. Storylines. Oh, I don't know, man. That 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 gun seems to be a bit of a false. Uh, <laughs> ooh, a red herring, I think, because it wants you to jump on that gun. You jump on the gun, you're dead. Heads up. You. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, you go and fight those guys. Go on, go fight those guys for me. Yeah, alright, cowboy, calm down. Alright, let those guys fight it out. Really? You're not concerned about the big, dirty, stinking dinosaur behind you? AI, see. There we go, he's gone. Pineapple for you. Pineapple for you. Boom! Nothing but bits. Oh, yeah. I got the little compies. Well, kind of. Come on, buddy. There we go. He's had enough. Just you left, friendo. I mean, your AI partners aren't bad. You remember the AI partners in Resident Evil Revelations? Oof, dude. They literally um, just had guns to show. I don't think they actually did any damage to anything. Because uh, I tested this multiple times. You can have your AI partner shoot one zombie. You can shoot. I think I counted once. I just kept running around an area whilst the enemy was chasing me. And the AI partner put about 60, 70 bullets into a standard enemy which takes about 10 maybe and didn't die and I was quite disappointed with that alright Oh god, yeah, I don't like that gun at all. Oh, Jesus. And now we're behind a massive explosive barrel. Yeah. Not not a good... Not a good gun. <laughs> Mounted gun. Especially that it overheats in about 30 seconds. Yeah, we're hitting them hard. Don't worry, cowboy. Ooh. Cowboy, you alright there, buddy? 
If you try shooting them, cowboy, you might win. All right, I'm just saying. Whoa, dude. With the grenades. Can I have some health back, please? Health, please. Thank you. Who's on the fucking gun? Nobody, apparently. Oh, hey, friend. There was another gun there. I thought there was. Oh, God. Right, stand back, cowboy. Yeah, I want to destroy that. Because that's nasty. Having that right by us. Now, I'm pretty sure somehow... No? Okay. I thought somehow we can actually detach those. Take them with us. I guess not. Right, on the way, chat. Yeah, alright. I'm actually looking for supplies, dude. Over here! Over here! This way! Come on! Let's go! Do you hate it when an AI partners do that? Just keep continuously... I'm um, saying the same thing. Let's go. What are you waiting for? This way. Let me fucking explore in my own time, dude. Alright. Let me just explore. I'm not retarded. Well, okay. Maybe I am. But I know where we're supposed to be going. Over here. Yeah, I really thought we could take those. All right, come on then. There's worse things in this jungle than dinos. I ran into wolf pack a ways back. <laughs> Good to know. Ooh. <sighs> okay, that was actually unexpected. He's in bad shape. These guys aren't very smart. You got a better idea how to get us out of this jungle? Logan is definitely not right in the head, bro. Bro. let's go. Hey, we got a dude, bro. Okay. All right then, guys. Well, that's gonna have to wait for the next video. So, cowboy got one in the gut. Oof. <laughs> I'm guessing that was Mr. Wolfpack himself, Mr. Kane. But who knows? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, till next time.